Welcome back. The impact of coronavirus being felt hard across virtually every industry, including real estate. With social distancing, our new way of life, in-person open houses are now obsolete. So what should you do if your home is on the market right now or you are in the market? Joining us right now is the star of Bravo's hit show, Million Dollar Listing New York, licensed associate real estate broker and leader of the Sirhan team, Ryan Sirhan. Ryan, good to see you. Thanks very much for joining us. Give us your sense of what people need to be thinking about right now if they want to sell their home. So it comes down to two things. One, are you on the market or are you not on the market? If you're on the market, my strong suggestion is to is to counteract what's happening and stay on the market because in New York City, for example, last week, uh, year over year, 80 percent of the homes that were supposed to hit the market did not hit the market. So competition is far, far less on the open market than we've seen in a long, long time. And if you're still active on the market, people are stuck in their homes on the internet looking for their next new home. And there's no better way to show someone the importance of quality housing than by sticking them in their own house. And if you're not on the market, so, so I you would think, say that you should probably yep. wait. I'd wait until the things die down, until people can come back out of their houses, because the hardest thing to do for a new listing is to not show it. And if people can't leave their homes, they're not going to be able to come see how beautiful your home is. Yeah, I mean, the numbers are so incredible. The spring season, and here we are, the, the spring season is now. Uh, in New York City, it usually starts to ramp up during March. The typical number of new listings that come onto the market in March is 1,780. But today, only 734 properties have been listed so far this month. This is according to Urban Digs uh, that, that gives us website data. And, and you think that if you go and, and, and try to sell your home online, you will have success. Even in this, even in this upset, even in this crisis, I think it's going to be slower than normal. Obviously, I think a lot of people sure. are scared. I think a lot of people's down payments are tied into the stock market because there's been a good run over the last four years, and people have saved up to be able to that buy and sense. upgrade their homes. But at the same time, things are still okay. This is a virus. The virus is going to go away. People still need to move. People are still having babies, and now people are going to have even more babies and still need that extra bedroom. And the same thing that happened in 2008 and 2009, seasonality for real estate sales kind of changed a little bit, went out the window, so to speak. And I think our stellar spring market is going to be pushed into the summer. So my team has been kind of gearing mm -hmm. up and ramping up, canceling our summer plans and getting ready for a very, very active summer that would otherwise be pretty slow. Okay. So it sounds like you think a big rebound is coming this summer. Real quick, Ryan. Yeah, it seems like it already. I mean, we've been slammed on the phones, emails, getting ready, trying okay. to do virtual tours. It seems like people are stuck at home wondering where they're going to still move sure. to. Sure. Ryan, thank you so much. Ryan Sirhan.